Hello, my name is Jolly Abraham, and I want to talk to you today about the purpose of marriage. You know, we all think, especially here in the Western world, that marriage is supposed to make us happy. But I would love for you to consider that that is not what God has called us to be inside marriage. What if marriage was not designed to make us happy, but to actually make us whole? You see, in our lives, God's desire is not for us to accrue a lot of things. That's what we want, right? We want to get the degrees. We want to climb that corporate ladder. We want uh, to have that mansion of a house or that amazing luxury car. We want uh, that amazing, um, uh, that guy who looks so fine, uh, that guy who has an amazing job. Uh, or we want to get into that school because it's so prestigious. We want all that real estate to um, show how wealthy we are. You know, we want all the things. But what I'm saying to you is that's not God, God's agenda for us. His agenda and his desire for us is to become whole in our lives. So not necessarily happy, but to be whole. Um, that is his desire and his design for marriage in our lives. A lot of times uh, we, especially women who are strong, who are powerful, who know who they are, we come inside marriage uh, with an agenda. We don't really say the agenda, but we have it in the back of our minds. We have high expectations of our spouse and high expectations of what we want our marriage to be. We want the big house. We want the 2.5 kids. We want uh, to buy real estate. We want to hit the ground running with our spouse by our side. We want to start that ministry. We want to go. We want to make things happen. However, a lot of times you will find, and I found this out in my life. I found it out. I've heard several stories that is not what happens as we live. As life unfolds, it is completely different what happens to us inside of our marriage. And so what happens when our expectations are not met, when our dreams for our life, our goals, our vision for our family is not met, we get so defeated, we get so down, we get angry, we get frustrated, we lash out at the other person because they are the problem, we think, of why we are not achieving our dreams and our goals and our desires for our lives. But the truth is, that was never God's plan for your life, necessarily. See, God's desire for our life is for us to become whole. He, ha he wants us to go on a journey, and that is the truth. Life is about journey. It is about process. It is about going through life, and it is not about reaching the destination, okay? We as humans are about the destination. We want to reach that mark. We want to hit that goal. We want to cross that thing off of our list. We want to accomplish, you know, uh, the things that are in our path. And that's a good thing, dear. It is it is fantastic that you are a goal setter, that you uh, are very task oriented, that you are driven and ambitious. That is great because that is who God has called you to be. But you have to put that in the right perspective. You have to put that in the right perspective. Um, a frame of mind, so to speak, and that is inside the will of God. So you have to always be asking God, God, what is it that you are doing here? Because clearly, clearly you have then jacked up things in my life. You have flipped the script. You have done a, a crazy plot twist in my life where what I thought I wanted is clearly not happening. And what I dreamed and desired for my life and for my family's life and for my kids' life, it ain't happening. So what is it that you want from me? When you ask God that, I'm telling you, he will begin to tell you the, his dreams, 
his goals, his desires for your life. And the quicker you can get on board to what God has for you, The quicker you can get on board for what he has designed for your life, guess what? You will become happy. You will become more than happy. You will be filled with joy, unspeakable. You will begin to feel a peace that nobody can take and you will become unshakable. So marriage is actually not designed for you to be quote unquote happy because that will come. But marriage was designed for you to actually be whole. And marriage was designed um, for two imperfect people to go on a journey together to become more like Christ and to become uh, more whole and more, uh, what's the word, more whole and more focused and in tune with what God has called you to do and to be.